<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorials about logo designing in CorelDRAW. Everyone knows that CorelDRAW now have a latest version which is CorelDRAW 2017. Let's first give brief introduction about that what is CorelDRAW and for what purpose we use CorelDRAW. CorelDRAW is a vector graphic editor developed and marketed by Coral Corporations. Now what is vector? Vector graphics are not made of pixels. Instead, vector graphics can be made with paths and lines and you can zoom in to as much as you can. This will not lose its quality as compared to bitmap. Everyone knows that bitmap can be zoom into certain points after that quality of object will be lost. Now, what is the use of CorelDRAW? CorelDRAW is a vector based graphic editor. We can use CorelDRAW for making objects which we can use for logo designing, card designing, brochures, advertisements, banners and many other things. Now, come back to CorelDRAW. When we open CorelDRAW, we have a welcome screen. There we have different options. On the right side, we have hint section. There they made some hint topics about tools and drawing objects. And on the left side, we have a selection such as new document open recent files and open other files in other files we can open different files such as vector pdf word files etc we can open files as text or as curves i will show in details about this in other video let's open new documents here you can set the document different properties such as width, height, in inches or pixel and other different types which you want. Like you can see there, there are inches, pixel, points, millimeters, kilometers, centimeters, meter, yard, feet and many other things. The size is very important for making any object. There are some different pre-made documents such as letter, business card, broadsheet, envelopes, web pages, web banners and some are different paper sizes like A1, A3, A4, A5 and some other types. Now on the top now on the top there is a menu bar as you see every menu has different drop down list I will elaborate every menu in my tutorials down to menu bars there is a toolbar These tools are fixed, but you can change or remove or set your own tools by go to Windows Toolbars and select which tool you want to use. Some tools are on the left side. As you see, this tool is for the selection pick tool and this for the shape tool I will tell you about this one in details and someone this one for the zooming and this for rectangle tool eclipse tool polygon tool text tool drop shadow tool color eyedropper tool this used for selection of colors if you have a, if you have to pick colors from other object this one for interactive fill tool as you see 
there are many different tools from on the right side there is color selection you can use this color down to this there are more colors you can add your own color there I will make now tutorials in Corel Draw 2017 keep watching and subscribe to my channel for upcoming awesome and amazing tutorials for now bye and take care